Hello, Internet. My name is Ace of Hearts Fox, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Now, I'm going to take a little look at my computer, because we have had a long night, and maybe the guys have something to talk about. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork? Well, band practice today. Woo! Yes! I, <laughs> I love the band practice sessions. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snowkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. I love his little fascist hat. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty normal day. Away message. Born to lose country trash proud drummer skate and destroy skate to create bound for glory. Alrighty then. Well... Seems like, all right, we're having kind of a little mundane day. I think, I think they deserve that at this point. Like, I think, I think that they should have just a nice, normal day after all the weird cult shit that's happened. Let's go this way. May, honey, is that you? Yeah, I'm back at the kitchen. If you want to talk. Oh, I, I always, I always do the voice kind of vaguely because I never know if it's mom or dad in the kitchen. So far it's only been mom, but I know the one time that I do a dad voice, it's going to be mom. Hey, sweetie! Hey, mom. How are you feeling? <laughs> Up on the counter. Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom. Why? It's been... I just... I, you're an adult. And you can do whatever we want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Ah, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. I don't even know if it... I've had a really tough year. I mean, that's not lying. It's been a pretty tough year. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please, tell me. Uh, are you worrying? Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Aw, that's really sweet. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha, sure. <laughs> okay. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Okay, so what is longest night? I'm still kind of not totally sure what that is. Calling for some snow, too. I'm going to guess that's like their Christmas. That went fast. What, dude? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Aw. I don't really blame Mom for, like, keeping us at home, especially after your kid just, like, almost dies. What do you think, Dad? Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time to, and, and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try that at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here? Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we could make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. And I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. 
Love you, Deb. Love you, too. Be back later. Aw. It is a really quiet day today. So, uh, it kind of reminds me of when we first showed up in Possum Springs before visions and murder and severed arms and death. It's so refreshing to just have the town being quiet right now. Like, it's just so much weird stuff has happened that I'm just happy right now. Like, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I mean, like, usually I'll do these in, like, uh, sessions. Like, I'll record these in sessions of, like, two or three episodes, like, per sitting. But these past few times, I've had to just do one a day because it's just been really heavy and it's just been tripping me out. Hey, it's you! Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fixings, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember? Kinda? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel a bit as old, every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Thank you, wise janitor! Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelters game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever give him our name? Yeah! See, you saw it too! <laughs> Wait, how did you know my name? Come back, the janitor! Ooh, new journal. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. I guess? Oh, hello! Ooh, stuff from... Okay, bad... Oh, bad art, alright. But, ooh, some weird trippy stuff. That was kind of creepy. But yeah, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that caught that. May also saw it too. How did the janitor know her name? Uh, should I check in on... Yeah, let's check in on uh, Angus. We all kind of had a rough night, Angus? Angus! Ah! You're not here! Who's gonna rent videos now? Well, nobody, because streaming exists, but who's gonna stop in the store and visit you now? Holy crap! Uh. Ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since. They got rid of all the snakes in the diner. Since we got internet! Screw the snakes, I love the internet! We were still using we were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago, because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. Make takes you like one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God, life moves on, huh? But oh my God, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Yeah, can we visit the taco buck? Oh, well, I'm glad we have something to replace possibilities. Another cat. Danny, right? Yep, well, damn. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. So you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. Ha! <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, face. I like that, that's funny. Oh gosh. Okay, this bird looks stoned up here. Is that just me? Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. I, I noticed you look stoned. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah! Oh, 
really? Hey, <laughs> yeah! Ghost melters? Ghost melters! Ghost melters. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a silence or something. Ooh, can I get up on this roof? Aw, oh, dang it. Alrighty. Let's go visit Greg. Because nobody else is around. He's at the, uh, Snalkin. Is that what he calls it now? Snalkin. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's al <laughs> look who's alive and well. You too. Yeah. Yeah. The you want to get out of here? Do man practice? Not yet. Hell yeah. Yes. Oh, that's why Angus wasn't at work. We have band practice today. Okay, I'm so ready for this. <clears throat> Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Same here, actually. Ah, I hate winter. Greg! Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. Hey. Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those VFW Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Oh, wow. Those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yep. The oldsters. So, uh, you okay? I guess. Not really. Not really, uh, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, like, I mean, I, I may almost died. <laughs> so, I mean, are any of us? I don't know. Angus slept pretty soundly last night. Hmm, suspicious. <laughs> I love that they have to, like, jump, like, do a full jump just to, like, sit down on something. Do you guys think those can, do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're going to find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there with you. And, uh, whatever that was? The murder cult of dads? The cosmic horror. Uh, I like this. That, that almost sounds like a band. Uh, that's gonna be my new band name, the murder cult of dads. Sure. I kind of get them. Really? No. Yes. I don't know. It's like a porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be weird when you're gone. Oh. Well, I mean... You've already been gone, and you've been gone at least once since you got back. At least. I died a little getting the ba that battery uh, the other day. See? You're a goner. Like, last night. It feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past still trapped in the historical society from the other night. <laughs> Just realized I know what that painting was. What is it? Never mind. But it, it feels like the past can't just leave. And it's still here. You're like swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, bruh. Aww. Nah, bruh. That's it? That was our biggest crime. What was our biggest crime ever? Almost burning down the school. Bringing a horrible robot son into the world. <laughs> I got. I like that. That's our most horrible crime. Bringing our horrible robot son into the world. And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway. Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. That was self-defense! All of that stuff. Like, today's diff like today's different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change. I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods, gonna be different because we live here. Because we were here. Man, gosh. Like, I am messing up those lines. I'm so sorry. That's something. Something, something, something. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? 
or tell them he's a, in a bottomless hole, in a tunnel, in the woods, with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? Oh, gosh. Uh, is this going to be an actual thing we have to, like, tell them if... Uh, I don't know. Because, like, they could either think he's alive and still have this weird hope or figure out that he's dead. Like, I don't want them to be sad about the news that he's dead, but I also don't want them to be searching forever. <sighs> I think they deserve to know what happened to their son. We should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know at least makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I, I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? <laughs> Whenever I hear noises like that, I get scared just because that's like my instinct. Hey, babies. Hang on. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I am sore from like everything. Gotta do stretches. So like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Oh. <gasps> you like couldn't leave home eh you guys are home enough oh or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in of course yeah dude that'd be rad hey guys yeah thanks for saving me last night like repeatedly not even a problem dude we'll save you as many times as it takes <gasps> oh yay is B here bye B hey B hey B da 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 <laughs> Are you gonna say anything? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Ugh, don't ask me. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Oh, good. So I was just having the word, worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh, God. I was half asleep. Let's not talk about it. I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can we just, like, not talk about last night for the rest of the day? Uh, no promises. Can't we just play a song and get pizza and talk about this tomorrow? I mean, I, I like that idea. Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. That's the spirit. I mean, we have to go on, right? Obviously, the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all going to die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. We got to make plans. We got to change things. We got to play a goddamn song and get a goddamn pizza. Okay, so what are we playing? Does May pick the song this time? Is this a song that May actually knows? What? Did, did we just finish the game? <laughs> this is the song they're playing. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfectly honest right now. I I did not see the ending coming right there, and um, gosh, I just can't believe this game. I I was ready for a little bit more feels towards the end, but honestly, that's a pretty satisfying ending because it kind of leaves it open for you guys to figure out what you think their futures might be. That was a really really cool game. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys joining me from start to finish on this game. And I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Because this was just an incredible piece of visual storytelling. I, I really can't say enough good things about this game. And I'm just so grateful that you all stuck with me through this whole entire ordeal. So, uh, thanks again for watching everybody. I'm Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pshh.